long has this town been here? Uh, the town has been here since a little bit before 1900. Uh, there was a, a guy who came here uh, from uh, an Irish fella, uh, <coughs> S. Duncan Carnes. Yeah. Uh, he's a first generation American. Uh, and he uh, found some gold in the hills back here, and he uh, was from Pennsylvania, so he called it uh, Nepeno, Nepeno, which is a Pennsylvania Indian name. Okay. And then when the railroad came through, uh, that, uh, Nepeno was too long, so they shortened it to Nipton. Yeah. But S. Duncan Carnes is the original guy, and he's the man. And was he an Irishman? Oh, yeah. Yes, he was. And he, he, he was he was the richest man in Western Pennsylvania in the years of uh, 1860 to 1880. He was uh, wildcatting oil. So it wasn't just gold; it was oil as well here. Well, in Pennsylvania, it was oil. Okay. Here, here it was gold. All right. Yeah. That's uh, very interesting. I see there's something about a lucky Dutchman as well outside there. Oh yeah, uh, that's uh, well. There's a. Uh, little mine up the hill and they're, they're using it to quarry rock now yeah uh, and uh, it's an old gold mining claim that was given the name Lucky Dutchman. Now when I asked about who could tell me about this town a guy said to me he said go in and ask Jerry the owner of the town. Now in my country people don't own towns but you own this town. That's true. How come? Well, it's like you know, people own real estate in your in your neck of the woods, don't they? Yeah. I mean, well, this is just a piece of real estate, you might say. So you own the town. Yeah. Uh, that uh, it happens that I mean, you have people that own ground and they have tenants, right? Yeah. And uh, on that ground, uh, so they're they're in the same position I am, uh, in effect. So do you elect yourself mayor of this town? No, I actually take on the role of God. Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a simple role, really. You have to, you say, if the role is basically, well, this isn't so good, this is, so this is better. And that's a major, my major function. Okay, and I hope you, you'll adjust God and you'll you divide up the spoils equally among your people. Oh, we try to, we try and... Uh, yes, I uh, believe that we're all here for a good purpose and that uh, we're all entitled to our rights and uh, as human beings. And, and, uh, that means uh, respect uh, uh, for what one does and what one is. Yes, sir. Very good. Thank yeah. you very much yeah. for talking to me. Well, it's a pleasure. I love your accent. What Thank you. What's your name? My name is Eugene. Eugene. Yeah. Okay. Okay. N nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, that's not a good Irish name, but uh, it's all right. Okay. I, I thought that was Sean or Yeah, well, the Irish Nick for the Irish for Eugene is Owen. Owen. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm actually, believe it or not, I'm called after an Italian pope called Eugenio Pocelli. Oh, okay. Because he was a pope in 1950. Are you an I, Irish Catholic? I was when you, I was born. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm Irish. <laughs> Hi. Irish. And what's your name? McGrand uh, is my last name. And do you know where where from in Ireland your family? I do from? not. I do not. Okay. Uh -uh. All right. Thanks for talking to me.